And welcome back. So yay. We're on my garden or farm and we're about to go back to the rock. I'm just making sure everything's working and then we can go. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. Let's back and see if that's an important thing. For the time being, yes. But you could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? Um, <laughs> what I made of them was corpses. <laughs> They're tough and well armed, probably mercenaries. If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Mm, just this. All right. Hmm. Says here the thief had help from someone inside Hope Tech. Ain't much to go on. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it. Resentful. Didn't you fight in the colony war, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The first cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. Um... Could those men be veterans from the first cavalry? I suppose it ain't impossible, but it's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court martial for disobeying orders. I don't recall how long the sentence was. Well, finding that starship thief is the best that hired those men is our best lead. Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Eh, uh, um, that won't be a problem. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, deputy. 
Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. <laughs> Mayday! Mayday! This is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, systems failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. Approve. All right, that's it. Welcome to Hope Town. Mm. Hello. Please tell me you're here to help, not to try and steal my ship. I am Ranger to operate you looking. The marshal sent me to find you. I need your help. <laughs> you need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I'll see if I can get you flying again. Mm -hmm. Just patch her up enough to get to Hope Town. The rest can. Oops. I want it. Thanks. I owe you one. Oh, right, yeah. This is fucking the ship designs like they have. Where's your um, not really I want Thanks. That should get me home. Happy to help. Good. There aren't many of us out there. So it makes all our lives easier when we can help each other out. Now let's talk about those outlaw ships. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Just tell me where they're heading now, handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. Right -o. Fucking thing, it's on its way. Hello there. Ah, 
I'm well outside their range and I'm already blowing them to bits. Yeah, what's in this one? Well, yeah, we'll just take it since it's there. Hmm. <laughs> you get a free star ship after you complete this quest line. Uh. Uh, it's not very good, but it's a ship you can just remodel to do something else you want. Uh. Cause you don't get to buy ships, you can only jack them, uh, or get them as rewards. Well, you do buy them as well if you wanted to, but it's expensive as fuck. You're better off just jacking a pirate ship and then remodeling it. Uh. And that's how bad the game is. You, you're better off just jacking a pirate ship than buying a ship. It's, it's, you're just wasting your money because you're going to be remodeling it anyway. Alright, I don't want to see somebody relies on fucking bot ships like. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Uh. No trouble at all, don't worry about it. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. Mm hmm You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Okay, let's meet up with Ron Hope. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Is this person armed? Yes, I have more armaments than an army does, I'm so... I'm the Marshal already told you this, but I'll say it anyway. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile him up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. Mmm, a lot of respect. I'll show as much respect as I can muster. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. Yeah, I'd rather have it near the fucking ground floor. That'd be if the elevator goes down and you got less journey to walk to you out. Contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Listen, a chance. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. Look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling being a free 
Three Star Ranger? Mm, we certainly could use more of you. Wes Johnson, who plays uh, what the voice is losing the chance. Let's is voicing this guy. Shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. <sighs> Justice must be done. And the sooner the better. Yeah, as soon as you hear his voice and you know it's losing a chance, it's only going to go two, one of two ways of what his character is going to be. And, yeah, if you can't guess who he is in the storyline, then well done, you have no idea how to play a game. Uh, I found your stolen ship on Montana Luna. That's good news. <clears throat> I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm aware of your position. Then I trust that you know what I expect of you. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Um, yeah, the ship was delivered to a group of men who were trying to acquire a farm. Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Yeah, the thief must have had inside help. Know anything about that? What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hotel holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I... Suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Uh, right. Was that unique about the stolen ship? No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Okay, so why don't one report a theft? Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, uh, what's more, every starship thief in the settled systems who would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. Did anyone see the thief? We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. I think we're done. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. I understand your position. I hope so. I'm sorry, 
sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Sure. Any changes on the next order? Forget it's prepping us. I don't want to hear any complaints. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Uh, that's enough to go on. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. Jalen Price got it. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Thanks for setting up the meeting. Uh, keep your eyes and ears open. I'm not sure I've got the whole story here. Yeah, the question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful in Neon. Yeah, I've already met Jalen Price from Coast Quest. Um, not Coast Quest, the old Minecraft series, but Coast Quest as in our companion Sam Coast Quest. Mm. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Try to work out which one was which. When your quest markers are just all over the fucking place, is a nightmare. But once you go through the unity, you reset everything, so... There's only one quest at that point, and they can only lock onto that. Hey, I don't care who you work for, you can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? You must be Ranger Price. You expecting someone else? Not exactly, but I get a lot of unwanted visitors. Kinda comes with the territory here. You must be Ranger Price. The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. Um, Hold that and count on your help. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. I won't cause trouble. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. Take me to Billy Clayton then. Come on. There's some um, Sam's wife here. Ah. Just noticing her stuff was in that room, it's got a double bed. That's <laughs> where I have to go deal with a uh, Sioka boss. Uh. That must be the leaflets. It's pretty impressive it how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. The 
You learn quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, someone tried to hold... Hold up a bank here in Neon! <laughs> yes, we think at the end of that, did we? <laughs> Game. But you understand. That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. It seems so long ago that we're here for Sister Eve getting all that evidence. The thing is, I've got two weapons at my disposal that I don't need any money for, which is my fists and my mining laser. Once you have those two, you can decimate enemies. Because uh, the fists do the stun damage, knock people to the floor, and then there's the mining laser that burns people to death. If I, with them, you can take care of any enemy once you first load into a fucking new, um, new game plus. Hey, Billy, you got a second? Oh, shoot. And they both come from perks. Let's carry over. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. I got to say, old okay, guy, I'm breathing down my neck, sir. So can you please go deal with them so I can tell you information? What do you need? What do you need? A stolen Hope Tech ship landed here recently. I need information on the pilot. Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Well, well what are you looking for? Hmm. Maybe that's what jog your memory. Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you could do for me. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Um, that's part of the job, yeah. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. I'll talk to this loan shark, but you better make it worth my time. What syndicate? Uh, yeah. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. The place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tang with me. Right, no problem. I'll be right back. But we'll end the episode first, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!